my friends from here in Jerusalem. Um, it's very hard to make this video for you uh, sitting here. This is actually my father's desk. And one of the things that we're commanded in the Bible is to honor your mother and father. And there are many ways that we do that. One of the things that we're taught from the time we're young is that you don't sit in your father's chair. It's one of the ways to honor him, to pay respect, to show that he is his place. And so it took me around two weeks, and still it's very difficult to come and sit in my father's chair. There have been so many times over the past 13 years that I've sat right across from this chair and listened to my father's vision, listened to his instruction. Numerous times a day I would report to him on everything that was going on in the fellowship, all the different plans and ideas. And, uh, and so I must admit it's difficult. It's very difficult to sit here in his chair and recognize the huge shoes I have to fill, as many people have said. And the truth is I'm not gonna try to fill those shoes because those shoes were his. Rabbi Eckstein was a person that no one else could come close to and no one else could be, and I'm not going to even try. But what I'm going to do is continue to do things my way uh, in ways that I know made my father proud. Over the past two years, we've been in the middle of a transition. My father was set to retire in two years. And so two years ago, we started the process of my father letting me oversee the administrative areas, the fundraising areas, working with our donors. He always said, I never thought that I'd be able to entrust anyone with this because it's not just about running an organization. It's about understanding and catching the vision. And I know that it gave my father so much joy that I only not caught the vision, but I believed passionately in the vision as I continue to of bridging Jews and Christians and shared values and respect in partnership, strategic partnership to make this world a better place. I pledge to continue to do everything to ensure that every single person who needs the fellowship aid here in Israel will receive it in effective, a strategic way with projects that I've helped my father build over the past 13 years. And to his joy, I've overseen them operate perfectly over the past 13 years as well. I'll continue to do everything I can to connect Christians to Israel, your spiritual homeland. I have the honor of living here every day, walking in the footsteps of our forefathers. And I want you to come spiritually to walk with me to see what is this land that God gave us that you too have roots planted here. We have now received from my father a bridge that has begun to be built, but it's not finished. There's so much more work to be done. There are more Jews in the former Soviet Union who need food and medicine and are waiting for us. There are Jews in the former Soviet Union and across the Arab worlds who are praying to come home to Israel, not just to be part of prophecy, but also to save their lives. And they're turning to us. They're waiting for us. And there are Christians across the world who don't yet know about these Judeo-Christian roots we speak about. I will continue to reach out to the Jewish and Christian community just as my father taught me, just as he led me, just as he raised me up in. And I feel that God will bless us. God will bless this ministry because I know God doesn't give us any challenges that we aren't able to meet. He doesn't give us any mountains we're not able to climb. And so as I sit here, sad, broken, but hopeful in my father's desk. I'm asking for you, friends of the fellowship, to continue to believe in us, to continue to believe in our mission, to 
recognize that the fellowship is only growing, is only getting stronger, is only getting more effective. And together, we will see the bridge that my father started to build be completed. But I need you to help me with that. So God bless you from here in Jerusalem. And I'm going to end with the priestly blessing that my father often ended with. Yivarechecha Hashem v'yishmerecha, Ya'er Hashem panav elecha v'yichunecha, Yisa Hashem panav elecha v'yasem lecha shalom. May we only know shalom.